Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of the Blockception server. Uh, today, we are going to get this roof finished. I want it done today. And I will not go to bed until the stupid thing is finished. So, I'm just going to probably put this in fast forward of building this whole roof and the top of it anyway. And then we're going to do the side designing on camera and everything. But I just want to get this out of the way and... Maybe if it didn't take too long, like the montage will only be three or four minutes, and then depending on how long it takes us to design those outsides and everything, we may also start the storage area today, or at least get the floor laid out for it and everything. So now I'm going to go into super fast time-lapse mode thing, and I'm just going to finish this whole roof. Hey guys, so, uh, yeah, I accidentally left my voice changer on, so the rest of this episode is going to be post-commentated, because I guarantee you, you don't want to listen to that crap. I was listening to it back, and it was just, like, it was painful to watch, so, like, I left a giant voice on, it was, like, really deep. I don't even know how it got on, actually, because I must have clicked it on accident at some point. I really don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to be commentating this right now. I'm just looking at multiple views of the roof. Uh, yeah, I finished that roof in a montage a minute ago. Yeah, we're just running around taking a look at all sides of it. And I believe at this point we were talking about finishing up the uh, stone brick on the sides and just getting that whole room wrapped up. And Marcus is talking to me for some reason. And I, that stone, that cobblestone there is bugging me. So I know at some point in this video I uh, ender pearl up there and destroy it. But for now, I come in here and I th start thinking about lighting. We're thinking about lighting in here. And then I find a zombie, which kind of proves my lighting point. But yeah, I keep trying stuff out here. And I find out that you get this cool, like, Illuminati type pyramid effect above the uh, the um, chair there. If you don't know what Illuminati is, it's like this weird, supposedly secret organization that um, I don't know. It's sort of a secret organization that supposedly runs the world, and its icon thing is a pyramid with an eye on it. So I was thinking that looks really cool, and I was thinking of putting like an eye in there, and making it look all creepy. But I wasn't completely sure. But I'm the thing I've been having issues with is how am I going to do that lighting? Because I really that never occurred to me till now. With the half slabs there, it's going to be I'm going to have kind of to come up with some kind of way to do lights, which is going to be interesting. But yeah, then I'm going back, and I believe I decided that I'm going to uh, use cobble for the floor for now. And that way I'm going to go back and change it with a pattern later. But first, yeah, I'm still experimenting with lighting here. I don't like that, really. <laughs> I was just kind of playing around with stuff. I never liked that one so much. Um, so, yeah, not really doing a ton right now. I think I'm going out to get the cobble for the floor right now. But the reason I was making the cobble floor was just so I could easily access the... Uh, the sides to do the stone brick on the sides so that was that helped a lot I was definitely right to do that first yeah there we go grabbing cobble right now and the video is about to cut and yeah then I'm crafting a boat to go up and then I'm showing off this new feature I added where there's a chest that you can't really see but it has boats in it, so you can basically just grab a boat as you go. It's pretty good. It's a good system. And then I drop a boat on accident, so I've got an extra. 
see, so yeah, I'm starting to use this boat elevator more now. I haven't actually had an opportunity to use it till now, so it's good. I'm thinking of making a better way down now that I think about it, because it's, I don't know, I've been having a lot of issues having to, like, jump down. I decide I want to use half slabs on the edge there, because that way I can boat off the side, and I don't have to worry about, like, accidentally going over the edge. <laughs> so, yeah, downside of that is I'm pretty sure there's a glitch where you can get insta-killed by that randomly. Oh, that'd be kind of entertaining. So, not really sure what I was even talking about at this point. I was just filling this in. Doing a big cobble floor. And, uh, eventually that's gonna, like, have a... I was probably talking about this, um... Eventually I'm gonna have the brewing room up there. And I wanna get a whole bunch of potions. Because I like to have potions. Their speed especially, um... Also, just like having health potions and regens fun, especially if we're like just screwing around PvP, in which we end up doing a lot. So I definitely like to have potions. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Um, not really much else to talk about at the moment. I'm relatively sure the video is about to cut again because I didn't want to show this. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, we, I think we finished the cobble floor now. Yeah, I'm sorry about this post-com. I have no experience with this, but... Really, I didn't uh, want to keep that troll voice in. Even though that commentary was better, the voice was just bad. It was really bad. Yeah, I was considering just not putting this LP up at all, but I did want to at least show what's been happening. Because I did get a lot done on the Parthenon and get most of the main structure finished. Which is really nice. And I'm already running kind of low on boats after going up and down this so many times. <laughs> Alright. So as you can see here, that's all finished up now. And... I'm thinking about placing where I'm going to put the brewing room and everything. Yeah, right now I'm actually saying the brewing room is going to be right there in the center against that wall probably. But I later changed my mind. But yeah, I was talking about that. And then I'm kind of thinking over what I'm going to do for this, uh, this stone brick on the sides here. And if I'm going to lay out some kind of pattern. My original intention was to uh, lay out a pattern for that. But then I realized that with cracked and mossy stone brick, it's probably better to just kind of place it randomly and hope it looks good. Because otherwise, I don't know, it might look kind of strange being patterned. So, not completely sure, sure what I'm even up to right now. It appears that I'm just sitting there. I think my mouse might have frozen up or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, I had this idea here really quick that uh, I could have like a little slit that I could peek out of, but I realized that really only works when one or the other side is dark, otherwise it doesn't look that great. So I did end up... Also, I realized I wanted it to be recessed, like one back into the... One back, so there's a rim around it. And that kind of screws me up here, so I end up... In a minute here, I'm going to take it all down, because I realized that. Yeah, so, taking that all down, I don't remember what I was even really talking about at this point, at all. Yeah, really, I'm really sorry about this commentary. It's just, post-commentating, this is not exactly an easy thing to do. Um, alright, well, this is, like, tedious as crap stuff. Might as well talk about something else. Um, let's see, what, oh, actually, I think I might remember what I was, yeah, I was talking about the wall PvP, I think. Um, Frozen Fire, Frozen Fire, Marcus, Evan, and Cade were doing a, uh, PvP map thing called the wall, and it's like a 15 minute timer, and then the sand walls fall, and everyone basically fights it out, but you have that 15 minutes to gather resources, 
And it's a pretty cool map, although I'm not intending on doing it with anyone anytime soon. They've been asking me to do it, but I don't really think I want to do it that much. It doesn't look like an amazing map to me. Man, I'm still working on this. I thought I cut before this. Yeah, I don't exactly remember what I was talking about. I mean, I was considering doing that with the Nebulous guys, but uh, I was actually going to ask them, and then they asked me first. Um, and they were asking about Ultra Hardcore and also Race for Wool, so we're probably going to end up doing one or both of those things because we both got some interest in that. Man, lots of building here. Um, let's see, what else has happened since that? I actually, right after this, I went over to Nick's house, which is finally connected to the hub through uh, A7's tunnel for the most part. And I went and visited over there, and by visited, I meant followed him around and hunted him with a flame bow for a while and got killed a lot because he had this power 5 punch 2 bow that was sending me flying all over the place. But yeah, I was in sort of like sneaky mode <laughs> following him around I was uh, sitting in jungle trees at one point he walked right by me <laughs> even though I was standing wide out in the open I'm not really sure how he missed me there but if he would have turned around he would have been staring right at me so that was kind of funny and then at one point I went underwater and I had my head in the air bubble from a ladder and I was just sitting there sniping him from under the water, and he walked around for a while looking for me then. And then we, uh, he kept spawn camping me at his bed. Luckily I slept, because his house is over a thousand blocks away. It's such a pain. A thousand blocks in the nether, not the overworld. So it's a really long way. But yeah, he was spawn camping me over and over, and I managed to grab my sword and kill him. And we got in a big spawn camping fight, and it took me about a half hour to escape from that, I think. And now after that, I left that. And now I'm on the uh, hardcore SMP server right now, farming skeletons while doing a post-commentary after realizing that this stupid voice changer got turned on somehow. So, man, still building here. Not sure why I even recorded all this. Uh, Alright, so what am I doing now? Oh, I'm demonstrating uh, how I'm probably going to lay this out. I'm going to put walls right there so the wall is relatively flat. Because the way it's... Otherwise, it's going to have to show like those the top of the pillars and everything. Because if I take that out, then it'll look really strange. Because then on the top there and then I come out here and I think this might be where the lighting glitches have disappeared and there I got creepered but I it's only one slab it doesn't really make a big difference I'm not sure oh no I'm coming out here right now to look at the side of the building and I am about to enter pearl across I believe and then I turn around and I look and I glitch out on that, and I remember that that's the cave me and Pengers fought in a while back. And I basically look at that and say it's all good. And I think after this I decide that I'm going to go back and uh, put the mossy and cracked stone brick on both sides and everything. Yeah. I got Optifine, by the way, but now that's I've already gotten rid of it again because apparently I get lower FPS with uh, regular FAR on Optifine. My FPS got like a horrible drop later, so I ended up removing it. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Maybe talking about Optifine, not really sure. But I'm just kind of staring at that right now. Man, post commentary is really difficult. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, yeah, I'm going up there now. Oh, yeah, I was deciding I wanted to do um, stairs on the bottom of all the curves going up. So I'm going there and placing that. And I figured I can't really place stairs right there without digging stuff out. 
and I've been trying to avoid digging stuff out because some of the slabs are like upside down slabs and there's upside down stairs everywhere and replacing those can be a big pain so I'm trying to avoid it and then I realize the slope of the whole thing has changed by the way this whole video I'm uh, I'm obsessing about how the curve effect com how there's like a curved effect from the way I set up the roof which I do think looks pretty cool it kinda looks more like a half cylinder tunnel type thing instead of just a uh, I don't know, it doesn't look so much like a triangle, which I like. Looks a little more rounded off. Yeah, towering on half slabs is such a pain. I probably should have used like a water bucket or something, because I was throwing slabs basically off the side all over the place. And this takes a lot longer than it should have because of that. Yeah, so I'm just stacking up on all these, putting stairs on the bottom. And then I have to do that. I'm pretty sure I have to go down again on the other side. and But I already know how to do it at this point, so it doesn't really matter as much. And I figure I didn't have to break that clay block. Oh, oh did I forget? Nope. Alright, so then I go back down, I take a look at it, and it looks pretty good there. I like how the uh, how it's like notched on the sides, or it, yeah, it kind of gives it a more texture to it on the part that arches up, which looks pretty cool. Alright, so going back over, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to cut, yeah. Alright, so now I've finished both sides, and I believe I've put the mossy cobble and crack stone, or the mossy stone brick and crack stone brick in. Although I'm not sure, I might not have, can't really tell. Yeah, I did. Using that optifine zoom feature, which I no longer have. And just kind of uh, talking over that a little bit. Not really sure what I'm talking about again. And then we're going over one. Not sure what we're doing next. We might be going to uh, lay out the brewing room or something. Now I know I w that was the last thing I was doing. Uh, so I guess I did that on the other side now. And now we're just kind of sitting here staring at the side of the building again. Not sure why we're even over there. Because we already had all the stuff done over there. Oh yeah, here's one part that was kind of strange. That lighting glitch I liked before, the darkness. Now I'm not sure what I like better, the darkness or the really lit up. Because that kind of looks cool too. It kind of looks like a lamp sort of or something. But I don't know, I also like the darkness because of that depth effect it was given. So I'm really not sure. I'm just kind of considering whether I want that or not. If you've got an opinion about that, comment. But yeah, then we're heading back up. And I believe we're going to start laying out the brewing room now. Or I'm just going to sit here and stare at the ceiling. That makes sense. And I open my inventory a lot. Alright, so grab a boat. And move it up to do the brewing room. I can't do the brewing room yet because I don't have any blaze rods. I don't think I have to go get some either go blaze farm a little bit or maybe get some from Andy he has a lot of them I know like five or six stacks at least might be able to borrow like ten from him or something but yeah this is uh I believe this is when I originally start laying out the brewing room yeah I was saying I wanted to do a sort of a triangular glass window here 
right above that because I thought that would look kind of cool, but later I sort of changed my mind. I was originally planning on putting the brewing room there, and I don't know, I just started, as I started flushing it out, it wasn't really looking that great, and it was going to be really inconvenient to reach the brewing stands as well, and I just kind of decided against it. I was going to have, like, I think the pattern would have looked pretty cool, but I don't know. I don't th really think it would have served much purpose. It was kind of just there for no reason, which I didn't really like. Generally, when I make something, I prefer it to have some kind of purpose. Although, I guess the whole Parthenon, it's pr pretty much its only purpose is storage. So I guess it's just sort of going to be the main hub for everything. I haven't really talked about that much, my whole plans for my base. I've decided that I'm mainly, it's going to be like an underground, mostly hand dug out base. Just like underground tunnels basically, but hopefully it looks pretty nice. And one thing I, uh, one thing I want to do is like have a whole bunch of, have a minecart system. I'm not sure if I talked about this or not, but have a minecart system where there's like stations all around the base and you can call them with a button like call a redstone cart or call a smooth stone cart I'm relatively sure I've talked about this before yeah not sure what I was doing here I think I was just talking with Nick by the way if you heard strange whispering that's cause Kyle's sitting in here watching me commentate for some reason um alright so I think apparently I'm just writing in circles at this point but yeah, I'm, I did decide I didn't really like that. I know that for sure because I start working on a different design here. Cause I mainly because I realized with that uh, with that triangular shape, you're not going to be able to see anything through those windows anyway. And I didn't like that. Oh my god! All right. But first, I'm going to lay this whole thing out and realize that it's not working. <sighs> okay, <sighs> and then I gotta break that one block there. Man, there's really not much to commentate about. Okay, Kyle gone back to badly post commentating. So sitting here and laying out this whole brewing room, only to later decide that I don't like it. But the original plan was to have brewing stands on every one of those uh, elevated cobble blocks. And you would like stand in the center of that. But then I realized you couldn't reach those at all and it wouldn't... You'd have to walk walk around a lot. And then Jurgens makes a little strange comment there um, about a cotton swab in his ear. Apparently he was cleaning his ears and for some reason decided to broadcast that to the server. Very strange. Very, very strange. So, yeah, still building this whole thing, and I realize how stupid this whole thing is going to look about right here. And at some point here, I'm just going to tear this whole thing down. <laughs> so I'm sort of, yeah, here's the point where I'm sort of like, oh, I'm not going to be able to reach any of these brewing stands for the most part from one place, and it's going to be really frustrating to use. So, yeah, there we go. Now I'm tearing everything down. I definitely didn't see that coming or anything. So, yeah, now we start laying out the design that I probably am going to go with. Um, I originally start with a sort of diamond type shape and it takes me a while to figure out how long these have to be and everything because that that ended up really wrong most of the time so I did it so yeah I'm just sort of screwing with different shapes here trying to get the right shape going that this will all blend together and I'm sort of just testing out a bunch of different stuff, trying to get a sort of 
clean diamond shape or a circle shape. I do end up with a sort of circle shape in the end of all of it. And that's just... Right now I'm just having a lot of issues when I'm doing this. I'm completely confused as to why this is. And then I realize... I'm trying to figure out in my head whether this whole thing is even or odd. Like, shaped like the... If it's a certain amount even long or a certain amount odd long. But I do end up figuring out. it's It kind of makes an oval shape more than a circle, I guess. But this, right here, this is more of a weird diamond type shape. And then I decide I want to round it out some more because it doesn't really look that nice. And the plan would be to have brewing stands and like all the corner blocks sort of have like eight or so at least and then probably have like some dispensers or something in the floor I don't know can always mess around with stuff but yeah here I'm trying to round it out a little bit and figure out what would be sort of circle-ish and I'm failing horribly at it for the most part <laughs> but yeah I'm keep keeping testing stuff here I believe eventually I do figure it out. Yeah, this... It was a pretty obvious way the whole time, and I just now figured that out. I mean, I should really know that I do a lot of circle patterns and things like that, and uh, somehow didn't figure that out. Felt very stupid about that. So, yeah, just now I got that whole circle figured out. And once I get that, I believe I'm starting to conclude the episode here. Although I was being very indecisive about whether I was concluding the episode. Not sure why I just placed that water. <laughs> Probably an accident. But, yeah, I'm just kind of... I figured out my brewing design. And I decided... Yeah, I'm going to end this episode for today, because I didn't really want to start the brewing room, and I didn't have a lot of time left, so I'm just going to conclude this, and for some reason I fell, not sure why that was. Little known fact, boat elevators also work for people, so I'm just kind of running around in circles at this point, not really talking about much. Uh, and again, obsessing about how I get that roundness effect on the roof. Oh, but it looks like we're wrapping up the episode here, so, uh, see ya.